when we spoke that was end of january which i think we i think i would say people are coming into the year let's say lukewarm not yeah. quite optimistic not quite pessimistic we i think most people didn't know what was going on like what was going to happen this year yeah. obviously at that point inflation was still quite high but and there was talks of maybe a recession but obviously since then there's been a lot of redundancies yeah. i think i got uh, i had a, a note here of the big tech so in terms of big tech, so I know 10,000, uh, Meta did globally, oh, Amazon 9,000 globally, Microsoft 10,000 globally. And there's been a wave of like other, you know, companies since then, right? Mm. Um, and then I know personally as well, people that are, I've, the funniest thing, I always say this to people, I have, this has been the first time in my career and I've worked careers about nine years, right? After uni. Mm. And I've never had, people a few people come up to me like yeah i'm getting made redundant i've never had that ha yeah. happen so it's there's been a it, i would kind of say a big shift since when we spoke um yeah. at the beginning of the year and um, i feel like there was definitely more opportunities um i guess you know you know with your given your recruitment experience and you being still being in industry i guess can you give us a bit of an insight into yeah i guess what's going on uh yeah it in terms of why people are being made redundant, there's it's really complicated. I, I don't have all the answers as to why it's all happening because it's different in every area. There are some companies, I think it was, this is a little bit of an old story like BuzzFeed and mm. Sports Illustrated mm. who were doing using AI. So they got rid of like an entire team, replaced it with AI, which just was terrible. So the, the quality of what they were, it was... It was kind of a big story. It's like a couple of weeks ago, this okay. Sports Illustrated one where wow. they they used AI to create fake profiles of people, like fake authors and writers um, with fake pictures, fake backstories. And those people were generating articles like through this AI thing. And people started to notice the inconsistencies and the poor quality. So um, they then decided to just like completely like wipe those articles from their website completely and pretend they weren't there. But a lot of the big news stations <laughs> have already picked, the, picked that up. So um, it's... Uh, Oh, the level of like la like laziness and the level of it's like getting rid of a team the no it's, it's amazing to me that no one spotted that ai is not there yet <laughs> like mm, you can't it's not there yet no it, it, to do that it, it absolutely astounds me but loads of companies have done that i don't know all the ins and outs mm -hmm. of, of why meta and these other big companies mm -hmm. are um do ma major re redundancies i i suspect it's a knock-on effect so one thing I noticed is we had the great resignation, which mm. was the period of time after the lockdown, like COVID is, is we had a massive knock on effect and probably will do for like even the next 10 years. But um, a lot of people stayed in their jobs during COVID. Then there was this wave of people leaving their jobs and it was called the great resignation um, where loads of people were resigning. They were like asked to come back to the office and they yeah. didn't want to. Um, and then, so what was happening particularly in the recruitment space is people were hiring loads and loads and loads of recruiters because they were filling all these roles that people were leaving. And then in the space, in my LinkedIn network, there's loads of recruiters because that's the network that I've got. Hmm. And I'm noticing loads of those people being made redundant and really? okay. just alarming rate. But people were making five year plans off the back of a temporary market condition, mm. which I found really odd. So they were saying, we're hiring like 20 recruiters, um, you know, to meet this demand. We're on a great trajectory, which was really odd because I was like, well, of course, once the market settles, it's not going to stay like that. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't know what's happening in other industries mm. as to why that's happening. But I think it's probably a knock on effect from yeah. people leaving. Lots of mm. companies were in a state of flux. They hired lots of teams and lots of roles. Now things are kind of settling into where they mm. were before. Um, and that could be part of it. Okay. Um, but I don't know the full the full story on why. That I just sense. know that tons of people are mm. being made like the redundancies it's oh, crazy. I've never seen it before yeah. at this level. Oh, really? Okay, so yeah. it's not an imagination. No, no, okay, the cool. redundancy is It is, no, it is yeah. crazy, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, cool, it's, cool. It's, it's, I thought I thought I was maybe not being over dramatic. I've obviously I knew about the figures, um, because a lot of these the the big tech, this was like earlier on in the year, right? Mm. Um, and with them you always see it in the news and it's not like you 
it's one of those ones like you kind of because they're so kind of far you're not mm. you're not working there you're like oh, okay it's big tech they're so big yeah mm. okay of course they're gonna you know shed but then when you kind of see the ripple effect and it's kind of getting closer and it's actually people that you know that you used to work with and you're like okay this is a bit mad yeah you start you know? seeing them their yeah. updates in your in your linkedin feed yeah. and people are, and it's like someone you know and they're like yeah i have a family i literally like i've just been told that yeah I'm made redundant i don't know how i'm going to support yeah. myself you know anyone that can help and you're just seeing more and more and more of those messages and it, it is it's weird and it's, it's kind of scary as well because yeah. it's like what is happening um yeah. so to hear it's i know it's happening in other industries as well but to just actually hear that from you um yeah is, is interesting it's like, yeah it's yeah. it's crazy like it was like literally my 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 ex team from my old company literally all of them mm. I, I two of them I'm, I, I still speak to so they they let me know as soon as they've kind of found out mm. and um obviously I knew it was happening but then I went onto my LinkedIn and literally pretty much the others mm. had all literally this is my last day at the place last oh, day man. last day I'm like literally i scroll through five six seven i'm like what is going on yeah like it's yeah. absolutely ridiculous so um yeah I, and i do agree with you about the whole growing um i think a lot of companies i completely agree with you that they just thought oh yeah we've, we've grown 50 percent post covid let's <laughs> let's hire 50 percent of people <laughs> yeah yeah and yeah. thought that they're gonna do 50 percent every year for the like like the yeah. next five years and it's just very short-sighted yeah why, why is it why, why does that happen with 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 companies i know it's not even a question i'm just I'm yeah. kind of like curious like why do companies are not why are they not more strategic i think about I this think kind of sometimes, thing sometimes i th i think that sometimes no matter how big the company they have to be reactive because mm. even though they know it's a temporary market condition they still need to hire people but some companies did it i say quietly so they hired lots of people on a contract basis and then some of those people just just weren't renewed and that makes sense but to what confuses me is basing a long-term plan yeah. on on the temporary condition and then announcing it and doing promotions and and it's like what why like, announcing surely, people are getting but, cut do you know the weirdest thing what's so interesting about these big companies is when you tell people company name and you say oh i've been to these offices or i've been to google offices and it's like ooh but inside the offices inside the fancy offices are just humans <laughs> it's run by humans so they've got the same flaws as everybody else it's just under a shiny banner yeah. you know they still like it's still a desks normal desks and normal computers and normal people running like who was that oh what goes on and they have the latest tech and i was like yeah but it's humans running that latest tech yeah Do you know what i mean if you have like you know a four-year-old on a high-tech keyboard it's still a four-year-old on a high-tech yeah. keyboard do you know what i mean so it's it's not as yeah i, I don't i, I don't I get know what why you companies um i don't know why companies do that um it, it it does it doesn't make any sense to me. It, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't. It doesn't. Do you think that uh, the job market will be a bit better in twenty twenty four? Unless something from, else like, happens. Your conversations and um, what people like are saying and forecasting and the only thing that might make a difference is is AI. I think. Okay. That's the only thing that I imagine that would make a significant difference um, because. Based on the fact that mo job markets go up and down from, you know, go far back as you like, really, mm. normally market conditions in terms of jobs, financials, they do go in, in an overall pattern over decades and it kind of follows that pattern no matter what. Mm -hmm. AI, though, is a, is a new thing. <laughs> like yeah. it's, it's And the, the rate at which it's growing is just in, insane. And I, I wonder where we'll be, because when I think back year on year, uh, I never even chat GPT, even like as I'm using it, mm. it's it's advancing at a rate that is shocking. <laughs>